is up everybody, I'm Starlord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys where a secret little kind of hint towards a new Pokemon is in the actual Pokemon Brick Bronze game. Uh, this is not the randomizer mode, so don't worry about it, and it definitely is not clickbait. This is actually a genuine little easter egg that points to a legend or mythical, I don't really remember what it is. But um, yeah, there is actually like a little hint towards a mythical or a legend being in Pokemon Brick Bronze. And I haven't done a video on this before, so I thought, you know what, I may as well. And um, if you guys have already seen this little theory, then fair dues, it's okay, I don't mind. Uh, but if you haven't already seen this, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Uh, so here we are today, we're in Pokemon Brick Bronze, as you can see, there is my good friend William, he's looking very green, and I don't know what that's on top of his head, probably some uh, poop off something, uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to head to Antian City, this is where I'm at right now, Antian City, and we're going to go right through this little big divider thingy, well, I don't really know what you call it, like a little tunnel thing, I guess, and from here, what we're going to do is... We're going to get on a hoverboard and turn left at this restaurant right here. We're going to go straight down to the housing district of Antian City. Now, this legendary or mythical, I don't really remember what it is. If you do remember, please remember to actually comment it down below. I really forget. It's I think it's a mythical, but I'm not too sure. I, I'm pretty sure it is because it looks kind of like a fairy type Pokemon. Um, but anyway, inside this uh, inside this actual uh, museum here, we will find the Easter egg somewhere inside. Now, there is a reason why I'm actually doing this video now, and that is because I honestly feel like this Pokemon will be one of the newer Pokemons that are going to be added into the game itself. Uh, so we just kind of go up here uh, through the uh, museum itself. Uh, as you can see, inside these cases, they've got like lots of stuff around here. I did not know you could even climb up here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm breaking all. I'm breaking all the rules. Uh, but basically, they have a lot of nostalgic things inside these areas. And um, over here... Oh, uh, wait. Actually, these are like Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno's like... Uh, these are what you would find in the Pokemon Lugia movie. They, they, like, these are actually what summons them off the island. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, if you go over here... You will see that right here, this big huge ball kind of thingy right here, is not actually what it seems. This is actually a, a Pokemon inside this thing right here. This Pokemon is actually called Magirna, I think? It's called Magirna, anyway. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture on screen right now of the actual Pokemon itself. And uh, just kind of look at these two different items. If you look at the body of the Pokemon itself, you will see it's got the same kind of shape. It looks like a ball. And it's kind of got those same colors and everything like that. And you will actually, in fact, see that, yes, that is the actual Pokemon. The Pokemon is actually in hiding right there in that museum, which is really crazy. Um, now, I don't know necessarily what they would actually do to actually add this into the game, how they would actually implement it into the storyline, uh, but I feel that the new Safari Zone update that's coming out, I think, in around about like a month's time or something like that, I genuinely feel like this would actually be um, added into the Safari Zone update. I don't know why, don't actually ask me why, uh, but I generally do feel like it's going to be inside there. Um, I don't know why this clash is broken. I don't know what is meant to be in there. Maybe Hoop Hoopa? Maybe? Let me see what this is inside. Like. The prison bottle, it was stolen by Team Eclipse. It seems to be linkin linked to a desperate attempt for them to unleash the power of a legendary Pokemon. It is unclear at the time now what they exactly want to do with it. What is the prison bottle, guys? I don't know what that is, but um, if you guys could tell me in the comment section below, I would actually be really appreciative. And, yeah, maybe I could make a little theory video on it. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. And what is meant to be inside here? There's no Pokemon. Where are the Pokemon gone? Did they just die and float up? Maybe. Um, but anyway, so if you guys agree with me on my little theory that this Pokemon is most likely going to show up very soon uh, in the Safari Zone update and that this Pokemon right here is in fact a Pokemon, this item right here is actually the Pokemon that I am saying it is, then please remember to leave a comment down below. And um, yeah, I hope that we can see this Pokemon soon because I've not used it in battle at all, but I've seen it and it looks very, very cool. Uh, well, anyway, guys, that's pretty much been it for today's little theory video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And, uh, yeah, just have a fantastic day. And, uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.